Let's get going. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith and this is Make It Real. Google just sent us a new Pixel 3a, which is an amazing new phone at a wallet friendly price. And they sponsored this video to challenge us to see if we can use a Pixel 3a as a replacement for our expensive camera setups during the filming of one of our epic projects. So for the occasion, we got a second jet engine to play with. Let's make a jet belt. Real life double jump anyone? We're going to film the first half of the video as usual. Then for the test, we'll be switching over to these Pixel 3a XLs shooting in 4K with built-in stabilization. See if you can spot the difference. All right, so we have two of the King Tech 310 jet engines now. So now we can do some kind of jet packs. Like that. Kind of evenly off each hip. So then with a handle, you can aim it down. Me and you should be able to Jump, jump really like really high. We can uh, mount that off the hip quite nicely. Yeah. We should probably start in CAD, but there is some mechanical work we can start with. We're going to need to make a few shafts to actually attach into here that we're gonna then weld to whatever we design in SOLIDWORKS. All right, let's do it. All right, to start, we're gonna throw everything into SOLIDWORKS and start trying to figure out what this is actually going to look like. So the part I'm designing in CAD right now is what JT is actually making on the lathe. A few of the questions we have is how are we going to mount this to the actual harness um, in a way that it's actually nice and strong but still comfortable for the person to wear. Two or maybe that's the same three flat plates. That's just a matter of well, 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 you're done. It's more like how we've mounted the jet engine in the past. Alright, folder's done, you can start plasma getting. Rock and roll! I'd like to almost hammer this in so it's more conical. See, James knows what he's doing. He doesn't need advice. As I start to use the bikes. I think maybe like that. Go towards. Feels pretty good. Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with uh, this mount, so let's do it again on the other side. Hey! Feels good? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, All right. Feel strong. The darling jet engine. That's, right that's actually almost where you'd want the handle. If we could get it closer, that would actually be pretty good. Cut that in half and cut that in half so we can yep. bring it much closer. So we're gonna make this half the length so uh, we get a bit closer to the hip. Jet engine! All right, that does look closer. I mean, we don't want it too close to our body because we want nice comfortable handles for our jetpack. We bought some cheap drills. No, we need to do the colon first thing and disassemble one drill with the other drill. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. Yep. I already attached one handle at the trigger, and this one's the actual trigger. It's got the wires. I control the speed of the jet engine. Some high tech ski poles. To see how we're controlling the jet engines, check out the circuit diagram at maker.io. There are links in the description below. So we've got all the components here, and we're just going to plug them all onto the harness, and we'll be good to go. Go. <laughs> one on. It's a lot easier to go straight up. Ooh, it fits! Oh, yes. Yeah, now we have to be my jet engines. And forwards! <laughs> yeah, and so death spin! <laughs> yeah! Alright, so now that we have the suit assembled, Riley, my ward, will be doing the first initial test. You know, for safety reasons. Man, this is actually terrifying. Thinking about it. Oh boy! Ignition!
I didn't do full throttle, but I'd be willing to next time. So, so we, we need, need a bracket over top of where it. I can put my hand there because you need to force it down with your forearm or else it's not it's not good. That's Apparently right. we can both along with this. <laughs> All right, so as a result of propping my arms up on the starter motors, the jet engines kind of tried to suck my arms in and it damaged the skin on my arms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bracket that mounts on top of the jet engine so that we can actually have some comfort and safety. Let's try it on and see how it works. It's a lot more comfortable. Oh, that's so comfy. Next up, JT, our intern from South Africa, will be trying out the jet belt. It's his last day here until next term. All right, Neil, you ready to take flight? I am. Let's get going. You ready? It doubles as a, um, a leaf blower. All right, that was freaking awesome. It's actually working way better than I initially thought it would. We've made some minor adjustments, but the biggest issue we had was the jets were sucking up dirt and grass. So before we test again, we're gonna have to build our very own video game set, or as I like to call it, the ultimate jet belt part. Once again, a huge thank you goes out to Google for sponsoring this video, which let us set up this ultimate testing ground to make this video. And like I mentioned earlier, this next test will be exclusively filmed using the Pixel 3a's in 4K resolution with built-in stabilization. See if you can notice a difference in the quality. This is the Pixel 3a. It has everything you need in a phone for much less. It's got an amazing camera with awesome features like HDR+, portrait mode, and night sight. Just look at this photo I took with night sight. The Pixel 3a charges super fast and it lasts all day. With 15 minutes of charge, you'll get an extra 7 hours of battery life on the My favorite features of the Pixel 3a is that it has a headphone jack. It allows me to plug in my music and listen to it wherever I want. My favorite part about the Pixel 3a is just how fantastic this phone is. Alright, so we got the jet belt all upgraded. It's time to do the big test. But first, I'm going to put on some safety gear because chin traps come. Got my Pixel mounted as my action cam. So we think the wires are disconnecting slightly and then it causes it to cut out. But we got that wire to repair. Right here the wires for the fuel solenoid have been strained. They haven't broken yet, but that's going to be a problem very shortly if we don't deal with that. Trying to get a bit more comfortable with it. 
actually kind of terrified though. It's literally two dead ends strapped to my hips. Yeah, you almost killed Evan. You do realize, right? Fun? Better? That looks amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I even tried doing like the side no. step. Oh, that's awesome. So what happened is we actually ran out of fuel. So one of the jet engines flamed out basically, and that's why there's all that smoke. All right, we got a really dumb idea. Can I jump onto this table wearing the jet belt? And can I jump off of it again? So I'll just show you. I can jump onto it without the jet belt. But let's see if I can float on top. Down. Yeah. yeah, no, it feels really cool. It's like, <laughs> Alright, that was freaking awesome. I am definitely getting a bit more comfortable with it, so time to take some bigger risks. My feet are burning, black leather plus heat. <laughs> awesome, I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, we did just get a noise complaint from uh, one of the neighbors though, so we're gonna have to cut filming. <laughs> Alright, that's all been fun and games, but let's up the ante. Uh, in video games, there's always obstacles to jump off of and jump onto, so let's add some more things to our little playground and see what I can do with these jets. Alright, we've made some improvements and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Jet Park. All right, that was freaking awesome, but we're running into some technical difficulties with the jet pack. The, uh, the kill switch seems to randomly be going off. Luckily, both times it happened during that test run, I was standing on something. If that happened mid-jump, you'd see my initial crash where I just kind of tipped off to the side because literally when one engine dies, the whole thing just goes whoop. So we've got a bit more work to do to get these back up and running, but we have ordered a third jet engine. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is just the start. And a huge thank you to Google for sponsoring this video. Check out the Pixel 3a, links in the description below. It's an amazing phone at an incredible price. My team loves it, and I think you will too. It'll help you get more done for less. With only 15 minutes of charge, you have seven hours of battery life. And the camera is fantastic. 